Hello, and welcome to this video. My name is Eva Helps with Siler Design Solutions, and today we're going to take a look at a few different ways we can create reports using our pipe network information inside Civil 3D. I am using Civil 3D 2023, so if you are using a different version, it might look slightly different, but should be able to get the same functionality. So, uh, the first way we are going to look at how to generate a report is by getting to the network layout tools for their pipe network. You can do that a couple different ways. One of them being select a part or a pipe from the network that you wish to get the information from. You'll see the contextual ribbon pops up here with the blue border and we are going to head to the edit pipe network. So here you see that pipe pops up the network layout tools. Another way to get to the network layout tools is if you head over to the modify tab on the ribbon in the design panel, head to pipe network. And again, you see the edit pipe network. Since we don't have any pipe or part of the network selected, it's asking you to select the pipe network. So here you have a list of all the different pipe networks inside the drawing you are in. You can choose from this list or head over here to the green cube and select from the drawing either a pipe run or a part from that network that you wish to get the information from. Select OK. And again, we are back at the network layout tools. Here, we're going to pop out the pipe network vista. So go ahead and select this tool. And you'll see that pops up the vista here. We have two different tabs. This tabs of lists the structures and then the pipes. And inside the Vista here, if you want to change any information, there are a couple different things you can change inside here, whether it's the reference alignment or the rule set. Um, so if you need to edit anything inside the Vista, you can do that there. We are going to go ahead and select, just left click on that top, uh, we're on the structures tab, so the top structure there, and hit shift and hold on your keyboard to select the bottom one. And now you have all the information inside this Vista selected. We can then right click, copy to clipboard, and come outside of the program and open up a new Excel sheet. And go ahead and right click, paste that information in there. So I just listed the structures. I'm going to go ahead and call that out here so I know that's the correct list. Then I'm going to put pipes down here. I'm going to hop back in the drawing and switch over to the pipes tab on the Vista. Again, just left click that first pipe. Click hold my shift key on my keyboard and select the bottom pipe. Right click and copy to clipboard going to open up that same Excel spreadsheet back up. Go ahead and select in the cell that you want to paste those in, right click and paste that pipe information in there. So inside Excel, you can manipulate the columns so you can see the information that you need. Or say you didn't want to see some of the information, you can delete columns, you can change titles and just kind of customize that how you want to to have the report show the information you want as needed. You could go ahead and save that, do a file save as, save, and uh, put that in the location you want that information. And from there you can share it as an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and close out of mine and close out of the Vista and the network layout tools and on to the next way to get a report for your pipe network information. So over here in the tool space, you see we have four tabs open. I'm gonna hop over to the toolbox tab. If you don't see the toolbox tab, you can come up to the ribbon to the home tab and see this little toolbox here. If it is not highlighted blue, you can go ahead and select it. And notice that turns the toolbox tab off and on on my tool space. So make sure that's blue and then you'll have your toolbox tab to click on. 
inside the toolbox tab, you see you have a little toolbox here in the left upper left hand corner. If you select that, you can manipulate some of the report settings. We're going to create a report here. So if you wanted to add any of your contact information for the header or um, change any of the information, some of the settings inside of the type of report, we again are doing a pipe report. So you can change some of the way that is shown inside here, whether you want the precision on the elevation to be changed or maybe the station shown at a different in a different way, you can change some of those settings inside here. Then we're going to head over to the Reports Manager and expand that. Here you'll see you can create different kinds of reports for all the civil data inside of Civil 3D here. We're going to pop up to the Pipes and expand that. And here you'll see the four default reports that Civil 3D comes with. We're going to choose the Pipes and Structures. Go ahead and right click on that and select execute. It pops up the export to XML dialog box and everything is selected in here. So you see the point groups, surfaces, all the civil stuff is selected inside of here. We are just focusing on the pipe network. So I'm going to uncheck all and then just pick my, this little green cube down here again, you can pick the network that you want from the drawing right click and now you'll notice only the pipe network that we chose is selected. So likewise if you were going to do a report and wanted say the alignment information with the pipe network you can pick and choose for this type of report what you want shown in there. We're going to stick with the pipes and go ahead and select OK. From there a save as dialog box pops up asking you where to save it. We're going to go ahead and save it here, call it storm. And you'll see automatically that pops up this nice report of all of the structures and pipes inside that pipe network. So again, here's where you could have customized some of that information in the report settings. Um, here you have all your information. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. and on to another way. If you wanted to just create some tables and have them inside your drawing, you can hop over to the annotate tab on the ribbon here and go to tables, add tables, that drop down. you'll see the pipe network there. We're gonna start with the add structure table. Here you can choose your table style or you can edit your current style to choose what it displays and what it shows. You can add columns within here. If you wanted more information or delete them out. If you wanted some less of information that's already shown within that table style. You can also manipulate how that's seen, what layer, um, and that table style here. So it asks for which network you want you can either do the green cube and choose something from the drawing within that pipe network. Or you can simply select from the list, drop down list of all the networks within there. Here you have a few more options on how your table is going to display and whether you want it to be static, just like a screenshot in time or dynamic. So it updates as the pipe network changes inside the drawing. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And now it wants me to place this table. So I'm going to go ahead and place it out here and I'm going to run through those same steps for the pipes. Go up to the annotate tab on the ribbon, drop down to the add tables, pipe network, and add pipe. Again, you can change your table style within here. Edit it or switch it out if you have a different table style you want to use. Choosing your network and the other options you have here. Go ahead and select OK. And there you have table. And if you wanted to create, um, if you wanted to export this out so you could share it outside of the drawing, you could always hop over to a layout tab down here and make sure the scale, create a viewport, make sure the scale is 
appropriate so you can view both those tables. You could plot this out to a PDF and share the information that way as well. Okay, the last way we're going to take a look at today to generate a report for your pipe networks is through the Project Explorer. We are going to come up to the ribbon to the Home tab right next to the Palettes panel here to Project Explorer. If you're unfamiliar with the Project Explorer, it's a great tool to use to look at all of your civil object data here in one window. It gives you previews of everything from the alignments to assemblies, corridors, point groups, surfaces, etc., including the pipe network, which is what we are going to take a look at. You can see your pipe networks that are within this drawing here. And you also have this structures, pipes, and pipe run tabs down here to take a look at those different parts of the network. Anything that's magenta is editable, so you can click inside here, and if you wanted to change the description, you could do that here. So to generate the report, we're going to actually use an object set. So up here on the last tab to the right is object sets. We are going to create a new object set with this button in the upper left-hand corner here. We're gonna go ahead and call this object set storm. You can create a description if you want and set the action. You can create everything from a text file, CSV, HTML, PDF, Word, Microsoft Word doc, etc. You could also do a table inside this drawing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose the Microsoft document for this specific report. And down here, it wants you to select a layout style. So you can use the layout style of the Project Explorer window or you can edit it and create your own. Once you've created one, if you wanna use that or use one from a previous drawing, you can always browse out and find that layout style. We're gonna go ahead and go to the edit style button so we can take a look on how to create your own. Uh, again, you have all the different types of civil objects in here. We're gonna hop over to the pipe networks tab. Here you have the um, columns you can lay out Set the column layout for the pipe network, structures, pipe runs, and pipes. We're going to edit the structures and the pipe. You'll see there's lots of different options in here for the columns. Lots of different information you can pull from that pipe network. I'm going to go ahead and clear all of those and just select a few. We're going to select the structure style, uh, just a few other options so we can get some information in our report. And if you wanted to change the layout of this, maybe you wanted the, um, if you came down here and you wanted the cover to be up further in the list of columns when you generate your report, this is how you can customize them by using these arrows to move it up or down. There's the layout for the structures. We're also gonna do the same thing for the pipes. Again, I'm gonna come down here and clear all first and just select a few. of a few items to have some columns of information inside of our report. Just go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK here. It's asking you again to save it out. I'm going to go ahead and set, call it storm report. And here you can choose a different file name template that come the default comes with a handful of different ones you can use you can also switch over to do some of the autocad table output options if you were creating a table and then you can come down to the report style again if you have one um, it, it automatically goes to a default or you can go to the user specified and if you have again one saved out you can find that here we're going to go ahead and create our own so there's some um, settings in here. You can change how the report looks. I'm going to go ahead and change this to inches. I do want an eight and a half by 11. Let's say we want it to be landscape style. You could change the header. We go ahead and call it the report name. 
and some other information you can change there. You can also change how the tables look inside that report, uh, the text, and the header report options and footer. So go ahead and select OK. And it's asking you to save it out. I'm going to go ahead and just call it Storm Layout Report. And select OK. So now we've created our object set. We need to select which objects we want to include in that report. So we'll hit this uh, green plus sign here. And go ahead and add some of our civil data. We're going to again choose the storm network. Select OK. Under here, it has the sub object type, which you'll see in the preview down here. This one is the structures list. If you want to change that, you can change that here. I'm going to leave the structures list and go ahead and right click and duplicate this item and change this one to the pipes list. So we will be using both the pipes and the structures inside of our report. After you've selected your objects, you can come up here to uh, run all actions or run selected action if you have multiple object sets created. Select run selected action, where it tells me that a report was generated. Do I wish to open it now? So I'll hit yes. I actually brought it up in a different window, so I'll bring it over here. And you see that it has created our report. And it's included all the pipes and all the structures inside that pipe network. So another great way to customize a report for a lot of your different civil object data, not just pipe networks. Um, and actually with all of the different ways we've looked at today, you can use those for multiple uh, civil objects, not just pipe networks, but that's what we just to chose to take a look at today. So hopefully that showed you some new ways to generate information from your pipe networks and or other civil objects inside your drawing and use it in the future. If you have any questions about this video or other CAD questions, feel free to reach out to myself, Eva Helps, or our other CAD technical team members at cadtechnical at silerinst.com or check out our blogs at siler-ds.com forward slash blog. Thanks for watching.